Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Anime Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Fascinations and Peace Cool are still pretty quiet this week, though I did find some new, I believe, upcoming models from MU, though they are rather familiar looking. There are, if you go to the MU site, there'll be a link in the description down below. It's another series of build buildings, like Chinese architecture, it looks to be four models. And they're labeled, at least the translation, English translation labeled them as Arch Tour Japan. And they have, they're interesting design because the top of them has a like oversized something to represent what they are. Almost like some sort of older kind of cheesy video game. Kind of reminds me of something like maybe Sims or Sims 2 on a, on a uh, console where there was a lot of over exaggerated stuff. To indicate what the game, what the the story is, and I've seen this similar kind of thing in, in other video games, but any, and I don't know if maybe that's what this is a theme. I did not translate everything on the page, so maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. But getting into it, we have for starters the noodle shop with a it looks like it has three sheets that are 110 by 190 millimeters, 61 parts, with a finish size of 55 by 60 by a height of 106 millimeters and a three star difficulty. So not a very difficult model, very colorful. And like I said, on top, the noodle bowl is just really exaggerated. Probably wouldn't, you wouldn't normally find a noodle shop or any kind of restaurant with their main dish oversized on top. Sometimes donut shops had a thing with big donuts, but mm, seems to be a little over exaggerated. But the theme continues. We have milk tea shop as it's translated, so probably just a tea shop. Uh, one three is two one ten by one ninety millimeter sheets, sixty nine parts, finish size of fifty five by sixty five by eighty five millimeters in height, and also three stars with an over over exaggerated thing on top of that as well. We have Games City, which apparently has two sheets, 110 by 190 millimeters, 77 pieces, finish size of 55 by 60 by 92 millimeters high, three star difficulty. And in one of the pictures, I love how the model is sitting on looks what looks like or similar to a Game Boy, an old Nintendo Game Boy. And some of these pictures have game stuff in it game related items and I don't know if that's just because one of them is a game city or if the entire theme is kind of game related because again it, they kind of look like something you'd see in a video game to me. And the last one is convenience store two sheets 110 by 190 in size 62 pieces finish size of the model a length of 55 width of 60 height of 75 millimeters also three star difficulty and like the drink one or the tea one has like a big drink on top. The game one has something similar to an old original Nintendo controller. And the convenience store has like a basket with a bread and a couple other items in it on top. Like overly exaggerated. So interesting models. Kind of in the theme that we've seen a lot here lately with Chinese architecture. Kind of promoting that theme. Seems like they're doing a lot of that. Looks pretty neat. Pretty colorful. Kind of getting worn out on it myself personally. Uh, if, and I haven't even built any of them. There's so many other models to choose from. Not quite my cup of tea, but maybe somebody will like it. Anyway, I'm going to mention it because it's something new. And the other thing that I found, CodeWiki had mentioned it to me, found it myself, and also someone in the email or subreddit, don't have their name in front of me right now, mentioned it. Uh, for whatever reason, the stores that it's listed is not always showing up as a what's new, kind of new arrivals. You have to look for it. But a number of different stores had it, and it is from Microworld. It is the 12 symbolic animal models, and there are 12 different animal models, like the heads of the different animals. And this kind of makes sense. What little I know with Chinese culture, uh, the different animals have a fair amount of meaning. I'm sure someone will come around uh, soon to explain more about that. So look in the comments below. With it being 12 different ones, I didn't want to focus too much on in, on any of them. And the several different listings I found didn't give any kind of sizes or any kind of difficulty level or any kind of parts numbers. Just no information really at all at the time that I was gathering information for this. 
I will admit that I was gathering information uh, up until time to go to work and now as I'm home from work and trying to record this video before I run out of time and get it uploaded to, to this Saturday. So there may be more information out there now but I'll put links to the different stores that I found it on because I found it on quite a few different stores. But to go through the list somewhat quickly, we have the mouse, cattle, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, which honestly to me doesn't look like a monkey, chicken, which I wonder if that's more rooster, but chicken, dog, and pig. Pig is something we've seen with other models before, so that seems to be a popular one. But 12 different ones, you can buy all of them for one, I think all of them for about $308, $309. Looks like one individually is $27, so kind of pricey. Don't know how big they are, don't know how complicated they are, don't know if they're worth that price. But again, links in the description down below to the different stores, so you can check them out for yourself if more information might become available later. And really, that's it for new models that I found this week. Again, Fascination of Peace Cool have been quiet. I know there was talk some time back about upcoming Mandalorian models, but I haven't heard anything at all. I used to get kind of occasional whispers from Fascinations, but that hasn't happened lately. Just haven't really heard anything rumor-wise to talk about or anything new but that could change by the time this video goes up what i'm going to talk about now last week i didn't really have a specific topic to leave comments about and talk about this week kind of left it open to whatever if there's any particular questions people wanted to ask and again this week i don't have any specific questions but i will there are a few comments that i would like to read while i'm here there were a couple from mary pate the first one that mary put was or the first one at least i it looks like the first one they put so i'm of course checking these almost a week later sometimes i'm really loving how whimsical all the newer mu models are i did a hanging one of theirs before you definitely are going to need the stand it would be nice to buy the stand separate the previous hanging one stands have been clear these clouded ones are really nice as for nanyuan they have a series of container models that I have so enjoyed. They have a coffee shop, sushi shop, ice cream shop, bakery, and hotel. Built them all. Cute and fun. And again, going back to the theme, you know, I talked about earlier, three, four new models from EMU. Same theme, different stores. Then Mary goes on to comment or add to, and the bricks. I am super interested to see the logistics of a build. I think Steel Golem might be worth another try. I've had some really good experiences. I wonder if all the models, like the ones you received assembled, come that way. Has anyone ordered one and received it unassembled? And on that, and someone else commented that they were interested to interested in the metal or aluminum built blocks that Peace Cool has. I've tried to do a little bit of research on that, and I'm really not finding anything. The only thing that I found is that you can buy some of those blocks on Tri-M. And I'm gonna put a link to the description, link in the description to that down below. And I wanna say somebody found them on Peace Cool once, not Peace Cool, but AliExpress, but I can't, I can't find them. Originally they were under the Met Metamix name. And I think I talked about them. I know there was a Reddit post about them. And it's part of the same company that does Peace Cool Somewhere along the lines, Peace Cool has decided to use the Peace Cool name to sell these bricks rather than going with the Metamix name. They're just kind of moving them through the Peace Cool site, so there's no name. Which, while they're trying to use an established name to promote the product, what they've effectively done is made it nearly impossible to actually find them. Because Peace School is so well known for 3D metal models that you cut and fold and bend up. If you try to do a search for Peace School, you're going to find those 3D metal models. You're not finding the metal brakes. And what do you search by? What do you call them? So even on the Tri-M store, where they have the bricks, I think they're just selling 
individual styles. They're not selling kits, which is what Peace Cool seems to be releasing. I've tried to search by specific model names or model numbers and on AliExpress and nothing, well, stuff comes on, but it's not what I'm looking for. So, in the end, I, now I've asked around, before I get to in the end, I've asked around some of the people I know. I've searched on Reddit. I think I have a link in the description. I'm going to put a link in the description to a Reddit post where somebody talked about it and a few people commented, like Travis Cat and Code Wookie, who'd know a little bit more about these things. But there's, that was a while back, and there's just really no new information, and I haven't been able to find any new information. I don't even know where to buy these kits. So I couldn't even buy one and build it and give you an experience right now because I don't even know where to find them. If anybody else knows, please comment down below and share the information because there are apparently people who are interested to know more. Maybe I'll give it a try at some point if I know where to buy a small kit don't even know where to buy them right now. I don't know any information about them other than they're just, you know, similar to the Legos, but not compatible with Lego, apparently. Similar concept, but unlike a lot of other Lego knockoffs, which will work with Legos, these don't. And they're, from what I've seen, kind of potentially, pri if you go to the Metomix site, you can search and find, play, or at least you could. I don't even know if the site's up anymore. You could find places to buy through there, and they were kind of pricey. So, moving on, another comment from Logan Springer. I know this was last week's question, but I would like to see a Polar Express train model for Christmas. Now, that's an interesting idea. I think I've casually seen the Polar Express movie once. Don't know a lot about it, but it's an interesting idea. Max Musterman. I know I agree about HK91. They can be really hit or miss. Most of the models I built from them were fine, but one was so bad I even trashed it. Only model I have never finished from that store. I, from that store, I actually never seen the HK91 Statue of Liberty model. Not sure if that's new or not. Not a fan of the design though, as the statue part is literally only two flat pieces, not really a 3D metal model there. I want to say that the Beretta I did was an HK91 model, and that was just downright terrible. Terrible. So yeah, very hit and miss there. And lastly, Christopher Thorpe. Hi Brad, thanks for the metal brick updates. This is something I would like to buy and build. Something I would like to see is Super Mario models. Could be from NES all the way up to the Switch versions. You know, that's something that's occurred to me tapping into some of the popular video game franchises to make some metal models. Sure, licensing would be difficult for that, and for some instances, how would that work? Like Pac-Man, it's just a round thing. Round things don't always turn out good. But then we have the Death Star. I didn't think that would turn out great. That turned out okay. Mario, Legend of Zelda. I'm very much a Nintendo fan, if you haven't noticed. Very much a Nintendo fan. I have all currently have all the Nintendo, or at least a version of all the Nintendo consoles that they've put out from the NES all the way up to the Switch. have a Switch now, still waiting on that game I pre-ordered. Anyway, this Halo could be, well, no, they did do Halo and Mass Effects, but there are other video game possibilities out there. Licenses may be difficult. The Halo and Mass Effects models apparently didn't work out and they've been discontinued, so that might make it really difficult to get any other licenses or make it so that fascinations would be dubious about exploring any other video game style licenses because the two that they did go for ultimately didn't work out like they'd hoped and one thing that occurred to me i want to say i mentioned in who knows how many videos back a year or more the idea of little replicas of 80s arcade machines because I know there's a fair amount of people around my age that build these models that might be interested in a arcade of Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man. It'd be a simple build, but to have the artwork on there, but just be kind of neat. Just to have a decent size, uh, maybe iconic size, arcade of Galaga, Galaxian, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, um, Asteroids, Centipede, Donkey Kong, there's so many. But again, licenses would be very difficult. But I'm kind of thinking along the lines of like the Disney trash cans. They apparently were a big enough deal that Disney did that. Maybe some video game 
tabletops and the stand up ones would be kind of neat mainly for the artwork wouldn't be much interesting in the model but then the trash cans were for the artwork that's an odd thought once again this week i don't really have a specific question to ask to stir up any topic of conversation so other than if you know anything about the aluminum bricks that peace cool is selling where to get them or have any more information please do share i'm curious to know more i will say speaking of peace cool it seems that they are gearing up with a new website and more of an international presence which is kind of interesting um, i don't want to speak too much of it i have some possible details and i just not real sure of the source so i don't want to speak too much of it but I know Peace Cool reached out to me to ask if it was okay to use some clips of one of my video on their site. And I said okay. And it looks like they've got like a UK version going up or something. Like they're trying to get more of a worldwide audience. Interesting to see how that develops out. From what I know, um, the next year might be interesting to see how things might change. Because it looks like there might be some changes on the horizon. But I don't want to be any more specific or any specific at all about that in case the information I have is incorrect or changes. But there might be some interesting thing coming with Peace Cool and fascinations and changes as the way things are sold uh, within the next year. We'll see. Speculation here. I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Anything you want me to talk about, questions that you have that you'd like me to answer, or you'd like to see other people answer, feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll talk about them next week thank you for watching and as always thank you to my patreon supporters for supporting this channel keep on keeping on